Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today on the show. This is Crypto CEO Chat. And on today's show, we have Justin Sun. Now, he's someone that probably needs no introduction, but I'll let him do it anyway. I am Terence Duncan. This is Le Token. And let's get into the show right away. Justin, thank you for being with us here. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Justin, for, for those who don't know who you are, <laughs> there might be still some of them out there. Uh, tell us, give us a bit of an introduction, Justin, about yourself. Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Justin Sang. I'm the founder of Tron uh, and also the current owner of BitTorrent. Um, Tron has these days has become like a very large uh, decentralized protocol. Uh, we have not only uh, been focused on uh, dApps, but also recently DeFi is growing extremely on Tron and we see exponential growth of USDT. And also we, we are very active on, on different kind of apps, NFT. Uh, for example, for apps, we have DLive. Uh, which is also a very uh, popular live streaming platform around the world, especially in Turkey, United States, Brazil, and Germany. Uh, and, and also at the same time, uh, uh, for BitTorrent, uh, we have lots of the uh, applications uh, like BitTorrent Speed, uh, BTFS. Uh, we collaborate with uh, tier one companies like Facebook, uh, Netflix, all the companies use BitTorrent protocol to transfer their files. Uh, and also at the same time, um, we also have um, just swap, uh, just land is also uh, uh, grow uh, extraordinary on Tron network. Uh, this is a decentralized trading and uh, uh, decentralized lending platform uh, on, on top of Tron. So uh, I believe we have a, like very robust uh, ecosystem and we will cover uh, this one by one uh, uh, for you today. Yeah, I think I think that's a great way to start things off. And Justin, not a lot of people know. I think you started off like any other project. Uh, you started off small. You started off uh, in a very robust team itself. Now, before the show, we were asking some of our traders. Uh, there's lots of people that trade TRX on our platform as well. So we were asking them a little bit, and they seem to want to know more about you. You yes. are somewhat of a celebrity yourself uh, in this Bitcoin crypto world. So let's start a bit from the beginning. Tell them about your entrepreneurial mindset. I mean, what drives you? What's your philosophy like? Uh, and that early involvement in crypto, of course. Yes, definitely. Uh, I came to crypto world uh, around 2012. Uh, at that time, there's only like one uh, coins in the world, Bitcoin. So, uh, but later uh, we know uh, there's uh, Litecoin, uh, uh, Ripple XRP, uh, and start to have some, some other uh, uh, other coins. Um, so, so I'm a huge believer of Bitcoin uh, around. Uh, 2012, and I get into uh, Ripple uh, pretty early days around 2013. So I started to uh, trying to promote cryptocurrency in China uh, in 2013. So that's how I get started uh, in entrepreneurship uh, in the first place. Uh, and in 2015, I think we already achieved a lot. Uh, uh, we established the uh, first blockchain company in China. Uh, and I got admitted um, by uh, Jack Ma to get into the Hupai University. So uh, in Hupai University, I learned uh, a huge uh, from uh, Jack Ma himself. And, and also I believe Hupai University really uh, provide me uh, with a great platform uh, to communicate uh, with all the top tier entrepreneurs uh, in China. So in 2017, uh, we, we all know at that time, uh, ICO uh, favor uh, is, is super popular at that time. So that's why uh, at, at the moment uh, we launched Tron, which is a competitor uh, platform uh, 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 compared to Ethereum. 
So even though we start um, um, like three years after Ethereum launch uh, their protocol, but I always believe our uh, path is the right path. So I think after five years, uh, uh, since already like uh, uh, goes through the right way, uh, if you check on the uh, uh, USDT transaction, uh, you will know uh, right now uh, USDT on Tron is almost uh, four times than Ethereum. And lots of the uh, USDT uh, volume start to migrate from Ethereum to Tron, uh, which I believe uh, in the future, lots of other asset platform uh, will have the same uh, uh, in the future. So uh, that's why I believe uh, we really provide a more uh, scalable uh, and a secure and a decentralized uh, uh, layer two solution and the transfer platform compared to the Ethereum. As we all know today, uh, Ethereum uh, is super slow. Uh, um, the scalability has be, been their uh, uh, number one problem they need to solve. Uh, and and the, I believe Tron definitely uh, uh, um, be one of the most compelling uh, uh, alternative uh, to Ethereum uh, regarding to uh, the smart contract platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're definitely going to deep dive into that and and look at that USDT TRX uh, type of uh, partnership and pairing. Uh, but before that, moving on from the person itself, Justin, you also seem to be a very charitable person yourself. I mean, uh, I, I know there's lots of things happening at the back end though, that Warren Buffet didn't. Uh, the current Jack Dorsey tweet. Now it's all about giving back. It's all about contributing to a cause itself. Now, why is that so important to you at this time? Can you give us a bit of yes. insights there? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I I always believe uh, um, uh, uh, we need to have events um, to uh, to attract other people outside of the crypto world into crypto. So that's how we grow uh, in, in the first place. Back in 2012, uh, at that time, the crypto world only have like less than like 1,000 people, right? Uh, and we grow to today, uh, uh, I believe we already have over 100 million people getting into the space, but I think this is not enough. We need uh, 1 billion people, we need 7 billion people on earth all get into crypto. So that's why uh, I believe uh, that's what's the auction uh, of Warren Buffett dinner for, right? So if you uh, look back the history, uh, Warren Buffett dinner happened basically in, in, in the right moment. So when I have lunch uh, with Warren Buffett, uh, this is like the moment um, the institution investors start to uh, get interested in the crypto. So uh, uh, I believe uh, these events convince lots of the traditional people start to get into crypto world in the first place. Um, for example, um, before I have lunch with Warren Buffett at that time, um, the crypto interest is very low. But after that, uh, it's early 2020. So after that, we can see uh, 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 the increase of grayscale, uh, right? The, the, um, the interest from institution investor grow dramatically uh, over uh, the past year. Uh, uh, grayscale grow from almost zero to uh, 20 billion dollars so so that's why i believe every events uh we uh, uh we spend money here uh will have the a uh, real positive impact on our industry not only uh on Tron, like myself but also everybody in the crypto space will get mm -hmm. benefit from the events we are doing here uh, for example also like jack dorsey uh his tweets uh, 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 also get wide in the mainstream media like Bloomberg, CNBC, uh, like lots of mainstream media cover uh, crypto NFT. Uh, and, and of course, uh, recently is the people um, NFT auction. Uh, it's also get lots of attraction. Yes. Are you going to win that, Justin? Um, for people, um, um, <laughs> it's a very long story. Uh, long story uh, in short. Uh, I, I lost uh, the beats uh, in uh, in in the last twenty seconds. So somebody outbid me in the last twenty seconds, 
And when I try to outbid him uh, uh, with $70 million, uh, I think there is some glitch uh, happened in the uh, Christie's uh, uh, computer system. So they right. can't accept my bid. Um, so, so that's how I lost the bid. Okay, but the people know, and now more and more people are kind of joining in the whole ecosystem itself. Now, exactly. moving from you, let's focus now on the company itself, the Tron Network. Yeah. Now, yeah. from the beginning in 2017, now, if, if, if you out there and you are focusing on the Tron Network, you will now know that the market cap for this company is close to $4 billion at the moment. Yeah. And yes. Tell us more about it, Justin. Perhaps a quick history lesson on how Tron started, why it's there, and what the community should know about it. Yes, definitely. Um, first of all, I want to share with the community about our vision uh, for Tron. So Tron uh, uh, is dedicated to build a decentralized financial infrastructure uh, for uh, the next generation. So uh, somebody always asked me, uh, Justin, if the Tron's competitor uh, is Ethereum or other uh, uh, layer two uh, solutions. Uh, I don't think Tron's competitor is, is Ethereum. I believe Tron's competitor uh, is Swift, uh, is ACH. Uh, it's the traditional financial uh, um, uh, infrastructure. So for example, today, if you, if you want to wire money from um, uh, um, United States, for example, to Africa, it will take you almost like five days to settle uh, money in the first place. And also uh, um, it costs you a lot of money around like $100 to make one settlement. Extremely slow and with, with a very high fee. But if you today, there is already a lot of from Nigeria, they are using Tron like every day. If they want to wire the money from Nigeria to somebody in the United States uh, with USDT, USDJ, all the stable coin on Tron network, this is instant speed with almost zero fee. I think the, the transaction fee for USDT on Tron is only two TRX, uh, which is 10 cents. Uh, today. So it's extremely low fee, but with a very um, instant um, transaction speed. Not only because the fee and also um, uh, also the speed here. I, I also think this is very important to consider. Tron is fully compatible to internet. So everybody, they can just generate a Tron addresses for free and then post it online. They can receive money everywhere. For example, as we know, like Stripe, Square, they are all like big payment network companies like PayPal, all worth like PayPal today worth $300 billion, right? Uh, Square worth uh, uh, also um, uh, $20 billion, $30 billion. All the big payment companies gonna get replaced by Tron Network. Because after the Tron network, um, I don't know if like everybody familiar with the business model of Stripe and uh, Square, they are basically the payment gateway for the traditional finance world to the internet. But if everybody migrate to Tron, there is no need for PayPal, Stripe anymore. Everybody can accept money by just generate Tron addresses for free and receive money for free. And also everybody can develop the app, decentralized application, uh, decentralized finance application on Tron. Uh, uh, and also this is free because this is like an internet protocol. So nobody needs to pay me or pay the transaction fee to me to, to, to enjoy all the services uh, on the internet. Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, Tron is definitely extremely uh, undervalued. Uh, uh, for, for example, today's Tron token overall, uh, fully diluted the market cap is $5 billion. But if you look at uh, and all the payment processor company, it's all tens of billions of dollars. For, for Swift, the valuation will gonna be like trillions of dollars. But I think we did a way better job than Swift. Actually, Swift is so obs obsolete, you know, they, 
they are invented in like World War II. That's maybe the only like uh, since in the World War II is still active today, you know. So definitely, I believe when Tron uh, really replace Swift, we, we're gonna uh, have like a, a huge upside here. So that's why I believe uh, today Tron, even, I mean, uh, we, we already have like around like 700 employees, very big companies, but still we believe uh, 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 this is still like early days and like like everybody gonna see the huge impact Tron gonna make in the next five or 10 years. Uh, even, I mean, we start from almost zero, right? Around 2012 uh, for today, I think we already have a huge progress here, but mm. I think the next five, 10 years gonna be even uh, um, bigger uh, in, in the future. So that that's why I'm a huge believer uh, of crypto uh, and, and the Tron network. Right. And I'm sure uh, many of us tuning in today are also huge believers uh, of crypto and on the show today. And ladies and gentlemen, for you who are tuning in from wherever you are, just remember that we are streaming from multiple platforms at the moment. So do join us. Uh, click on the links below. Drop us some of your questions if you have any. Uh, we have Justin Sun, the founder of Tron, with us today on the show. Uh, Justin, back to you in this one. Uh, you've made the acquisition in 2018 uh, for BitTorrent. Uh, you paid, yes. I think it was 120 million cash. Now, yes. what's that synergy with Tron, B BTT, TRX, that ecosystem? Tell us more about that and how you are combining everything into one mega powerhouse. Yes, definitely. Uh, first of all, I believe this acquisition uh, is one of the most important uh, acquisition happened in uh, the crypto history. Not only uh, because the acquisition price, I mean, uh, in 2018, 120 million maybe uh, is a big number, but today uh, we have seen more and more uh, companies have higher valuation um, than the BitTorrent acquisition price. But also I think the most important thing is BitTorrent protocol is the number one and the earliest decentralized protocol in the world. BitTorrent is the first time people start to realize actually the decentralized way is way better than the centralized way. So before that, a lot of people trying to uh, make decentralized technology available to hundreds, millions of the people, they will find actually the centralized way is better because centralized way is easy to control, uh, easy to like share uh, the results with one another, Decentralized way is very hard to control, is very uh, less efficient. So that's why um, when BitTorrent invented, people started to find actually in file transfer uh, uh, industry. Sorry, give me one minute. Yeah. In file transfer industry, decentralized way is way better than centralized way. You can transfer files uh, 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 and the speed hundreds of times faster than the decentralized way. And the way with a very uh, cheaper uh, transaction uh, uh, fee. So that's something I think back to 2003, everybody started to realize um, BitTorrent is the only way to solve the file transfer uh, uh, solution in the first place, even mm -hmm in uh, Satoshi uh, 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 white paper and the discussion group, Satoshi Akamoto himself, he said like, if we want Bitcoin to be adopted, I mean, uh, widely, we need Bitcoin to be transferred in a very large network akin to BitTorrent. So even for, uh, even for Satoshi himself, when people ask him, like what's the Bitcoin use case if it, at that time is very early is 2011, 2010, right? So the first user case come from Satoshi himself is use B, Bitcoin in BitTorrent network. So, so that's why I believe this is two amazing decentralized technology combined like all together. This is like one of the most important moment, I think in our industry, because 
you know, like BitTorrent provide a very healthy decentralized storage and the file transfer plan for blockchain in the first place. For example, in the future, if we really want to build a decentralized application, reliable decentralized application on blockchain, we need decentralized storage services. We need decentralized file transfer services. Those services is provided by BitTorrent. So that's why I believe BitTorrent actually is a very important infrastructure, even for blockchain itself. So we can see, right, for example, like today, uh, 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 everybody use like UnionSwap, just, just swap this kind of the decentralized swap on Ethereum or Tron network. But make no mistake here is even nobody can shut down the union swap or just swap, but people can shut down the just swap and the union swap web page. The, right. the services is host on the centralized services. So mm -hmm. that's why we made BTFS. We made all the storage services available like BitTorrent. So there is impossible for one person to stop the file, the torrent file from transfer uh, from one to another, because this is all P2P uh, file transfer. So that's why I believe uh, uh, BitTorrent gonna be huge. BitTorrent is already like huge. There is one billion user around the globe, but mm. I believe BitTorrent gonna be even more bigger in the future by providing all the infrastructure for all the blockchain platform in the world. Right. And I think that's great, Justin, that you saw this coming. And that acquisition of BitTorrent alone was not only iconic, but very functional moving forward in the whole cryptocurrency exactly. space itself. Exactly. Now, you personally and Tron itself, now both a polarizing figure on your own. Lots of your members of your community want to constantly hear from you, want to listen to your tweets, want to really know what you have to think. Now, you took a little break from social media previously, and yeah. it was all about strategizing and building yeah. that Tron ecosystem. Give us more details on that. Tell us what's new, what's in the pipelines, and what's being planned. Yes, I think the first um, pipeline right now we are working on is a stablecoin ecosystem on Tron. I, I think uh, USDT is definitely the killer app on Tron platform, but uh, not only uh, USDT. So right now uh, we are collaborate uh, with other uh, uh, um, regulated stablecoin uh, to ship uh, their version on Tron as well. So we already got HBTC uh, uh, launch on Tron recently. And I think at the end of this month, so basically three weeks ahead, we're gonna launch TUSD on Tron. Uh, and uh, 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 stay tuned, I think in Q2, uh, we will have more uh, stable coin uh, launch on Tron network as well. So after that, we will have like a curve on Tron. So basically uh, you can, uh, swap different uh, uh, um, stable coin. For example, uh, USDT, USDJ, TUSD, SUSD, USDC, all different kind of the uh, stable coin on Tron. I, I, I believe in the future, Tron will become a stable coin hub for all the st stable coin issuers. They can all issue their own stable coin and, the, and, and in, interact with one another. I believe this is the the first and the, also the one of the biggest the pipeline uh, we are working on right now. Uh, uh, make the Tron is like the number one uh, stable coin ecosystem in the world. Uh, mm. uh, it's not only I think gonna become the next Swift, next the financial infrastructure for everyone, but also it will provide very large buying power for TRX token in the first place. So once those stable coins get into the Tron network, the, the only distance from those stable coins become TRX buying power is only the on-chain swap. For example, like today, if you want to buy TRX, it's also very easy. Just use like any Tron wallet, just swap the USDT to TRX. It is mm. very simple. 
So that's why I believe this is our number one strategy. And the number two strategy, uh, of course, is DeFi. So we already have decentralized stable coin, decentralized lending platform, uh, on just land and decentralized uh, trading platform, just swap on the platform. And we're going to roll out more DeFi product on Trump, uh, in, uh, Q2 this year. Uh, just stay tuned. I think, and also you can see the stable coin ecosystem and also the DeFi ecosystem has a huge synergy. So uh, all the uh, um, um, DeFi application is built on the stable coin uh, ecosystem. So I, th I think this is uh, one of the uh, uh, most important uh, things we are working on right now. And the number three definitely is NFT. Uh, uh, as mm -hmm. we all know, I, I auctioned Jack Dorsey's Tway and also for uh, this uh, Beepo auction. But also definitely we have uh, uh, been reached out by a uh, numerous uh, like celebrities uh, around the world try to uh, issue uh, their own NFT uh, on Trump. I definitely believe uh, uh, these things will uh, 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 increase a numerous amount of the uh, um, traffic and the attention uh, to Tron Network. Uh, mm -hmm. Imagine like pop tier like celebrities, right? Uh, 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 like Jack Dorsey uh, uh, and, and also uh, very big uh, celebrity like Kardashians, uh, those level of the celebrity gonna issue their own NFT on Tron. It's gonna be a huge news uh, on the headline around the globe. So everybody will start to, uh, 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 even outside of the crypto world, uh, we will start to uh, 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 look at the Tron protocol. Uh, and the number four, I think, is uh, uh, a cross-chain solution. So uh, in this year, we will provide a way for everybody to uh, 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 issue their own blockchain on Tron and to communicate with one another. Tron will not only become the one of the largest blockchain in the world, but also will become one of the biggest blockchain hub around the world. So every blockchain can communicate with one another by communicate from the Tron hub. That's brilliant, Justin. And yeah. I think you are probably also the best person to give us some data, some numbers. So to some of your haters out there, I suppose, <laughs> give us some data, give us some numbers, uh, give us that growth numbers, daily transaction, volume, accounts, uh, block heights. Uh, talk to us a little yeah. about that and how's that been growing? Yes, sure, definitely. Uh, I think, first of all, I want to uh, talk a little bit about the, the data of USDT. So we grow from almost zero uh, on USDT. At that time, like Ethereum, Omni has started a lot. They, they start from like uh, uh, 1.3 billion US dollars. Uh, for us, we start from zero. Uh, but This year, I think our number is rich, rich to 16.7 billion uh, US dollars uh, right now sit on Tron. Uh, uh, I believe Tron uh, is huge, like undervalued. Uh, I have this kind of the ratio, so you can know if a pro protocol is uh, undervalued or not. So basically today, Ethereum is holding around 50 billion US dollars worth of US dollars of the assets on Ethereum platform uh, is 50 billion. But Ethereum valuation is 200 billion. So basically Ethereum valuation, the whole market cap is four times higher than the assets Ethereum holding on their platform. So, so basically, this is like Ethereum. But Tron, today, Tron is holding around 25 billion US dollars. Assets okay. is holding on Tron platform. But the Tron valuation is only 5 billion US dollars. So you see the difference here. Ethereum is four times than the assets is holding in the first place. But Trump is only like 20% of the asset is holding right now. 
So that's why I believe Tron is definitely extremely undervalued just by uh, this kind of the asset ratio. You know, if you see like Tron Ethereum is both like banks, right? So so Tron has customer assets is around like twenty five billion dollars, but this bank is only worth like five billion dollars. And the Ethereum have like two times than Tron uh, the asset they are, they are holding. But the problem is Ethereum is four times than the than the assets holding on their platform, right? So yeah. I think this is one of the uh, most in, uh, uh, important ratio uh, you can uh, matrix you can see here. And also let's check about on chain activities. So Tron today uh, we are. We have three million transactions happen every day on Tron Network. For Ethereum, the number is one million dollar, uh, one million transaction. So we are three times more than Ethereum for the transaction in terms of the transaction uh, amount. We are three times than Ethereum. And if you look at very closely to the specific assets, for example, like USDT, we are also like three to four times more than uh, Ethereum doing today. This is all like very active, real crypto user cases. I'm not like even use this data to compare with our other competitor, which I mean, 90% of them is zombie chain. There is no like single active blockchain transaction uh, at all happen on those competitive blockchain. But for Tron, it's like, Three million transaction happen like every day on Tron blockchain right now, and it's gonna increase dramatically in the future because we have seen the USDT transaction on Tron start from almost zero, but today is 500k uh, transaction per day. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's also increased like dramatically uh, these days. Um, I think this is number two. Uh, for the on-chain transaction, uh, uh, it's also huge on the value, right? So we are five billion, but we are three times more than uh, 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 the transaction Ethereum is doing, right? And also, uh, let's see about the newly registered accounts. That's also I think is extremely important. So right. Ethereum um, these days, their newly registered accounts is around one hundred k per day. But for Trump, is around 100K also. But make no mistake, Ethereum has a 100 million addresses in the first place. But Trump, we only have 22 million, uh, uh, million, uh, million addresses. Uh, let, let's take like an example. There is two countries. One country has, only, uh, has 100 million population. And another country has uh, 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 20 million uh, 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 people live, live in the country population. But the newly growth rate of the population is the same. Basically, these two countries, uh, the newly born population is the same. So which country is going to have like a higher increase rate on their GDP, right? Of course, is the, uh, the population of 20 million people. Because they have like 100K people like every day in their country, their population is gonna be doubled for the next year, right? For like 100 million like population, it's gonna be the growth rate will only be 5%, 10%. But for uh, the 20 million people uh, country, uh, they, they, they're gonna be like 100% of the uh, increase rate. So, um, these three uh, matrix, I think, is very uh, worth uh, to pay attention to. Uh, and, and all the data I speak here is not like some data exclusive to myself. Uh, you can all get the data from uh, TronScan uh, and the Ether scan. So um, uh, those data is available to the public. And, and also coin matrix as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you've heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to give you another piece of data uh, since we are on the topic itself. It's going to take you less than two minutes to get yourself into the ecosystem, get yourself some TRX and really support the course, join the community and see what's different. 
So join us now. Get active, get involved, and you will then get into the decentralized systems of things. Now, Justin, moving on, I think uh, you are also the best person to kind of comment because you are in that uh, helicopter point of view in a way and you're looking at new trends as they come out now nft currently uh d5 uh these are two big buzzwords that are constantly up uh, these days now are these trends going to continue and how is then tron trx btt supporting this ecosystem could you, could yeah, you give us some insight to that? yes tron is like uh, one of the very first uh, blockchain uh, start to uh, support NFT uh, in the first place. We have a standard uh, called TRC721. Uh, 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 so uh, it support, like everybody can issue the NFT on Tron platform. And uh, uh, Tron is uh, also extremely low fee with instant speed, uh, which is very friendly to the NFT traders. Because you know, most of the NFT uh, 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 trade around price less than hundred dollars, so they can't afford like uh, if the transaction price is like ten dollars or something. So, so that's why I believe um, 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 Tron is one of the most user friendly NFT protocol in the world. But also, I believe NFT itself uh, gonna go big in the future because first of all, NFT can attract lots of the mainstream people into the space. So, uh, um, for example, like uh, Jack Dorsey, uh, uh, like, like uh, Kardashian, these kind of the people, uh, um, they are not like working in crypto at all, right? So when you talk with them about like Bitcoin, crypto, it's very hard for you to convince them get into crypto. Uh, in the first place, if they have no business related to crypto, but if they, if, if you tell them like, just mint your tweet, you can like sell your tweet on the internet, right? For, for free and receive crypto. And you can just make some like these kind of NBA, uh, uh, uh basketball car and sell, uh, uh, uh on the internet. It, they're gonna understand the idea, right? So like auction, like like art gallery auction, those kind of the idea, uh, especially for celebrities, it's very uh, uh, um, easy for them to understand. Uh, recently, I, 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 I just like, before this interview, I just talked to uh, Lindsay Lohan uh, also, right? So uh, 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 um, uh, she's an artist, so, the way she understand about crypto is from like arts, like music, right? They're gonna know this is the way you can sell music, sell somebody, like common people understand, right? Because if mm. we, I like explain to them like how Swift works, how Tron works, they're gonna lose themselves because they, they didn't <laughs> know like how Swift works in the first place, right? Yeah. But if you, I can tell them like just buy the NFT, right? Just buy the arts, just buy like some like NBA uh, basketball car, just buy like some like uh, music uh, or uh, the art pieces from Lindsay Lohan, they're gonna get idea immediately, right? So that's yeah. why I believe NFT gonna bring a numerous people into the crypto space in the first place. Right, celebrity marketing is helping the crypto space as well. So that's, that's a good move forward. Now, uh, Justin, also, I think the people out there would like to hear more if Tron and the SEC regulation and other government bodies, now how are conversations going with the traditional side of things? And, and how is Tron then either complementing or really pushing this forward? Could you give us uh, an overview there? Yes. Um... Government regulation is extremely important uh, in the Tron ecosystem. I think in 2020 and 2021, uh, we have uh, achieved numerous achievements on uh, government relations. Uh, I will uh, break down to uh, um, four parts, uh, give you like an overview. Uh, um, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the major three important countries about crypto. These three countries is the biggest in crypto. 
uh, U, U, United States, China, and Japan. So these three countries is the biggest country in the crypto. And I will talk a little bit about the rest of the world. Hmm. So first country I'm going to talk about is United States. Uh, I think this year uh, uh, we uh, have lots of achievement in United States. Uh, first of all, uh, we collaborate uh, with Kraken on TRX listing. Uh, Kraken is one of the uh, regulated U.S. exchange uh, 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 in United States. And we, uh, we get listed on uh, Coinbase uh, custody uh, um, exploring list. Not only TRX, but all the TRX ecosystem tokens like TRX, BTT, uh, JST, uh, Sun, uh, Wing, uh, USDJ, uh, all different kinds of the uh, 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 Tron tokens uh, is supported uh, on the Coinbase uh, custody exploring list. As we all know, uh, Coinbase uh, is one of the most exchange, uh, important uh, exchanges uh, in uh, United States. Uh, and uh, also for uh, 2021, I think we will see a huge milestone uh, uh, for uh, uh, the compliance uh, uh, in United States this year. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, we can announce this soon, uh, and uh, uh, um, hopefully our community will stay tuned about that. Uh, we will definitely uh, increase the user cases uh, and uh, the decentralization um, on Trump. Uh, um, to be more compliant uh, in, in, the, in the United States. I think right now we are already in a very good shape uh, in United States since we are one of the most like active uh, 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 US uh, uh, users blockchain in the world. Uh, for example, like uh, HUSD, TUSD, all, all these kind of the uh, stable coins regulated especially U.S. regulated stablecoin um, 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 uh, in in United States. And they are issuing their stablecoin on, uh, uh, on Tron. I think there is no like other, even a third blockchain has this kind of advantage in in our uh, space uh, um, other than Ethereum. So there is only two uh, um, uh, uh, blockchain has the regulated stablecoin uh, issue on their platform uh, uh, is uh, Ethereum and Tron. Uh, so, so we, are, I think, in the future in the United States, we're gonna become um, the infrastructure for lots of the U.S. institution. Uh, they gonna like work on, on the Tron blockchain uh, uh, and integrate into Tron blockchain. So, I, I'm super uh, bullish uh, about uh, 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 our uh, futures in Ethereum uh, in in United States. Second uh, is China. So uh, we also have a huge uh, milestone in China, as we all know. Uh, we collaborate with uh, collaborate uh, with Chinese government on uh, uh, the blockchain development, uh, uh, and um, myself also serve as a board members uh, in the reform committee uh, 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 in in China uh, um, uh, magazine. So, so basically, this magazine is a central advisor for all, all the reform and and the planning, uh, 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 industry planning uh, in China. Uh, so I see this as a one of the very huge milestone uh, uh, to establish the relation us with Chinese government, and also at the same time, uh, I think this year uh, we got also gonna have. Uh, something uh, big to announce. Uh, um, I believe uh, uh, um, the minister level of the uh, Chinese government uh, members, uh, 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 formal uh, minister level, um, uh, uh, level uh, government official in, in China uh, will join uh, the Chuang uh, China sector as an advisor uh, to the Chuang network. Uh, which I think we will announce uh, like later this year. Uh, uh, and also, uh, um, we have already achieved a partnership uh, with several um, uh, universities in China as well. So, uh, so we will announce that uh, later this year. Uh, this is uh, for the regulation in China. And also for the uh, regulation in Japan, I think we just achieved uh, uh, um, uh, um, 
a, a very important milestone uh, 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 two days ago. Uh, so uh, um, Bitcoin, uh, one of the regulated Japan uh, exchange, uh, just announced they're gonna list the TRX in March 17th. As we all know, uh, all the tokens listed uh, in Japan needs to be approved by the Japanese regulator. So uh, we have been working uh, on this for almost three years. So I believe this is uh, one of the most important uh, milestone we have achieved in Japan. Uh, and the rest of the world, uh, I think uh, some countries is worth pay attention. Uh, for example, like Turkey, so uh, so we listed in all the uh, regulated exchange in Turkey, uh, like uh, BTC Turk and the Parable. And also we have a numerous amount of the users come from Nigeria uh, as well. So I think this, uh, this is, is very uh, worth paying attention to. What's your thoughts on India though? I mean, the focus has been on India for quite some time as the government looks to uh, really block uh, the growth of cryptocurrency. Uh, so, so what's your thoughts on that and how are you working there or is that part of the target? Yes, definitely. India is definitely one of the most important uh, country want to focus in 2021. Uh, as you know, like India is also the biggest country uh, 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 in, in BitTorrent and the uTorrent. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. India occupies like 15% uh, of all the traffic uh, for BitTorrent and the uTorrent has. So, so, so definitely I think uh, uh, India is uh, extremely important. And uh, I also heard from my Indian friends, so the crypto policies also is getting better uh, in India compared to uh, uh, two years or three years before. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'm definitely uh, super bullish about Tron and uh, BTT and all the TRX uh, ecosystem token uh, in India, and uh, we hope uh, we can expand uh, ourselves in India uh, later this year. Great and good to know as well. Now, Justin, you yeah. seem to be really focused on also bridging that gap with the traditional uh, business community, the traditional yeah. finance, and even people focus on that angle. I mean, yeah. could you give us a bit maybe your wish list uh, in terms of partnership, business associations? or even future collaborations. Could you care to comment on that? Are you eyeing that? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I think this year we're gonna bring a huge um, uh, um, institution investor into Neutron. We already like received like numerous requests from different institutions around the globe wants to invest into TRX. But uh, this year, I think we will have a huge milestone uh, we will start to uh, establish a new channel for uh, 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 worldwide. Uh, like everybody can start to buying or invest into Tron from the traditional investment channel. That's something, it's just like listing on Japan. Uh, we have been um, working on for quite a long time. Uh, I think we think this year, uh, we will definitely have some good news. Great. And that's definitely a good start to the year and hopefully things will go according to your way itself. Now, Justin, we're running out of time. Uh, but before we go, I think uh, I want to hear from you. And of course, the community wants to hear from you as well. Is there anything that you want the community to know? Any other plugs or any other things that you want to drop on this show? Tell us now, Justin. Yes. Uh, I just want to let everybody know like we are actually in very early days, right? Even, I mean, uh, Bitcoin is uh, 50K, right? Uh, Tron is almost five cents, um, but we're still in a quite early days. I believe, as I just said today, uh, 5 billion uh, uh, valuation for a financial uh, protocol is extremely low. So uh, I, I hopefully in the future, uh, we can uh, make Tron become the one of the most important financial financial infrastructure for the mankind. And uh, uh, at that day, I, I believe uh, Chuang gonna be like super uh, 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 valuable uh, uh, in the future. 
Justin, with that, thank you for your insights today. I think it has been very informative for everyone who's tuning in today. And with that, I would like to, again, uh, extend the fact that you can actually get involved. Uh, the links are below. Trade on TRX right now. Look at all the links. And Justin, thank you for your time. We hope to see you again on some of the next shows that we have. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terrence.